Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So my gorgeous client Jade's come back. She's had these nails on nearly five weeks. So I'm just starting off by um, putting some uh, hand sanitizer on her hands and my hands and rubbing that in nicely. And then taking my extra, extra, extra coarse bal bit from nail.supplies and this whips down those um, layers of acrylic in seconds, which I absolutely love. So as you can see, she's got quite a lot of growth and she's lost a few nails. Um, the other hand wasn't as bad. She'd only lost one nail on the other hand. Um, but yeah, that's that's just life. But the nails that were left remaining, there wasn't much lifting. It was um, pretty straightforward. So I'm just going over and removing the bulk and the design, going back down to that lovely clear base, which we apply each time. And you can see that her nail is looking nice and healthy underneath that extension there. go in and spray with hand sanitizer at uh, hand sanitizer, with um yeah hygiene spray and i'm using the new rose gold cuticle pusher from cjp nail systems and it just scrapes off all that dead skin off the nail plate as you can see there gets it all off that nail plate nicely and then i'm coming in with the mini skyva and this is from atwood industries i got this from pj's nail lounge um, she's like the UK distributor for Atwood Industry e-file bits. Um, so I'll leave a link also in the description box for those. But I take my drill, I put it on forward motion at around speed 7. And I go just around that cuticle area and into that sidewall and just scrape off that dead skin. I'll then flip my e-file into reverse. Um, so it's going the opposite direction. Obviously, I will turn the motion off before I put it in reverse. You don't want to do it while it's moving because you will ruin your drill. Um, and then I'll just go down the other side and the other way in reverse motion to make sure I'm getting all of that dead skin out of those nail folds and around the side walls as well. So I'm taking Jade's personal file. This is in her little bag that we spoke about last time. So each client has a little baggie with their own file and their own buffer. And I do change them now and then. Like after a couple of hours when they start to go blunt, I will pop a new file in. But the files have only been used on her hands. So I'm just blending in the previous acrylic to the natural nail and also etching over the nail plate whilst I'm doing that as well as you can see and then just thinning out and removing any design any bits of lifting so as i moved on to the ring finger <laughs> with the other nail i'm filing 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 away and then because the base is obviously so thin i end up snapping it off and i wanted to cry <sighs> you feel my pain girls and guys when they you do your clear base or they crack open a can and break the nail or go in their handbag and snap them all off. It's so frustrating. It was so annoying. Ugh. So anyway, I'm going back in with that um, prep spray plus now. So this is like a dehydrator and a cleanser all in one. Yes, I know I get a little bit crazy with the sanitizer, but okay, babes. I absolutely love um, making sure everything's clean. So I'm taking, I'll do it in a second for you. So I'm taking the rose, the rose, God, sorry, Poppy's just distracted me. Um, I'm taking the holographic nail forms from CJP. They're super cute. I take the tab off and stick it on the back to give it extra strength, even though these nail forms are super thick and sh lovely and strong anyway. Um, but I do it just for that extra oomph at the back. You it can get a, a super amazing C-curve with these nail forms. So I literally take the bag off, back off, roll them between my thumb, put it onto the nail, tuck it right under, and then secure it nicely onto the nail. And then I'm using the black bottle dehydrator just to remove any of those oils if I've happened to touch with my hands um, as I've been applying the forms. And now we're ready to apply our clear bases. 
So I'm using the big boy brush. I'm taking a small bead just to do the pinky and then I'm gonna sculpt out the rest of the nails that we're missing with a new clear base. And I think I just apply, I think I just recorded me showing you two of those uh, nails. But I just take up a pretty big bead placed at the cuticle area, I use the tip of my brush to tuck it nice and neatly into the cuticle, but using it as a barrier to keep the product away from any skin. And then I start using the belly of my brush to pat and drag that product down to create my extension and my clear base. So I thought I would put my monomer and my polymer into the view so you could see exactly how I do my peed pickup. Peed pickup. <laughs> That just sounded so weird. My bead pickup. So I dip my brush into my monomer, scrape off one side, go into my powder for about three seconds, drain off the back of the bead on my tissue, and then apply it onto the nail. So I'll just let you watch. Now I'm using these two beautiful glitters from CJP, they're pre-mixed and it is Ice Ice Baby and Supernova and I stole this combination from the amazing Lewis Norton, he is phenomenal at nails um, and he did this combo and I just, I was living for it, it was just so freaking beautiful. So on this note it's going to be white nail because I was, well I did attempt a bubble nail it didn't really work. Um, I don't know how I could get something so wrong that's so easy, but we'll get to that when we're a little bit nearer to it. So I'm just mixing these two glitters together on the nails, doing like a glitter fade on all of the nails by the ring finger. And then I'm going to come in on the ring finger and do a full nail of coconut milk.
So I'm now using a more and I'm just gonna like cover the mask the nail bed area and blend it down onto the glitter because I'm really loving that sort of look at the moment. Just a small bead just to kind of add a little bit of a pink tone down there. And then I will come back and encapsulate all of the nails with crystal glass. And then I will come back to you when we do some filing. So I'm set, taking my smooth, blah, 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 blah. I'm taking my smooth top safety bit in a fine grit from Nail Dot Supplies. I love this for finished filing. Um, I do end up taking a little bit off um of white off the side. There. I don't know if you notice. You didn't really notice. I do cover it in pigment later on anyway. So I just go around the side wall, around the cuticle area, and just debulk anywhere that needs debulking. Um, and then I come in with the file that I've used, do the side walls at the free edge and then just start blending over from one side around the cuticle area, back over the other side. Um, and then I will flip my client's hand around and just perfect the shape from their view. Um, and that's it. Yeah, that's my filing method. So just turn it around there. You can't see what I'm doing, but I am just filing it from their view. So that when she turns her nail over, oh look, we've flipped anyway. I've top coated the nail, stored in my CJP lamp, rubbing on some pigment. Then I'm putting the bubble. Oh no, sorry. Then I'm putting top gloss back on, and then I'm putting some of the bubble mixture over that. But I didn't have big enough bubbles. I don't think I didn't have a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> but I placed it on the nail, cured in the lab. When she came out, I dusted off the excess, re-top coated the rest of the nails, popped her back in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds, um, and then applied cuticle oil to replenish the nutrients we've dehydrated out in our prep process. And then I have left a little clip at the end so you can see the final result. I hope you've enjoyed this complete acrylic redesign from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye.